I was really shocked to hear this news today. Uh, we've been counting on congestion pricing to do so many things. For Andrew MTA. Albert tells me the MTA board didn't see this one coming. He says not going through with the congestion pricing plan is a big loss for commuters. According to the MTA's website, 12 billion was going to go for subway and bus capital improvements, 1.5 billion for the Long Island Railroad and 1.5 billion for Metro North. More specifically, the MTA has said the money was going to fund accessibility projects like new ramps and elevators, new electric buses, elevator and escalator replacements, infrastructure projects like track upgrades and bridge repairs, new rail cars and buses, and extending the Second Avenue subway to East Harlem, as well as modernizing signals to allow trains to move more closely together. Albert says his understanding is that the projects that were already underway, like elevators and ramps, would continue. But new subway cars and buses and the Second Avenue subway extension are now off the table. You can't leave an elevator half done. Um, I think some of the station accessibility projects, which have begun, and which they have a contractor for already and which have, you know, at least engineering has begun and all of that, those should continue. I would hate to see this be the beginning of the end uh, because this was a sustainable, vital source of funding for the MTA, which is going to continue to have vital needs for upkeep, for expansion, for new equipment uh, and better service. And I, this all would have happened with congestion pricing and people would have seen the difference uh, really big time.